All right, so this is the new PC that we built. And today we're going to freshly install Windows. Tough Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi 2 motherboard in it. So we'd like to install in UFI environment. So first of all, you need to create one bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive. Once you create it, then we can follow the next step. So you need to have the keyboard and mouse. And as you can see, it's saying, please enter setup to recover BIOS settings because this is completely brand new. And if it is brand new, then this motherboard shows this sort of page. Okay. And it says press F1 to run the setup. So what are you going to do? We're going to press F1 to get into BIOS. So once you press F1, it's going to restart and take us directly to the BIOS page. As you can see here, there are two interfaces that we can see. Such a nice illustration, it shows the fan speed and everything, temperature. So that is the main page. That's called easy mode, age mode. And second one is advanced mode. So edge mode shows like that, which is some sort of secondary illustration in there. But what are you going to do? We're going to press F7 to get into advanced mode. Once you get into advanced mode, it's going to show us the traditional BIOS page. So let's click in there. Click here. And that's what it is. Now, that is the main section. It shows all about the machine. What is in there, CPU speed, total memory and many more date and times and stuff like that. But to change into UEFI, by the way, nowadays most of the, I mean almost all comes with UEFI setup anyway. So we're going to go to security to find if there is any TPM or secure boot settings. Unfortunately, there is nothing. So now let's go to advanced mode and check what is in there. So in advanced mode, I can see there is TPM and also USB configuration. It's called FTPM configuration. If you would like to install Windows 11, make sure both of them enable, which is already enable. And then we're gonna go to boot option. And from here I can see it says secure boot. That's what we're looking for. So let's click here and check what is the setup. Okay. And operating system type, we need to select Windows EUFI mode. And that's how simple it is. So everything been set up. Now we need to check if there is any boot priority option. If there is no boot priority option, then fine. Why? Because there is no any other boot bootable device available. So when you start, it would automatically take us to the Windows installation page. So pretty cool. Make sure your all settings are like that as the screen shows. Now let's exit it. So before we exit, we need to save the changes. So we're going to select the second option, which is save changes and reset. Once we click here, it's going to show us what we changed. And if you press OK, it's going to restart and load up the actual Windows setup page. It seems it's loading up. It took about two to three minutes. I don't know why. Maybe it was loading up. So here is pretty simple. Everybody knows what to do. But still, let's for video purpose, let's to go forward and see. So I'm going to exit. I don't have any key at this moment. And I'm going to choose my desired operating system. By the way, if you don't know how to create one, you can check. I would leave the video link in the description. So here's the internal SSD, I'm going to make the partition here. If you'd like, you can make as many as partition that you want. But it's better to keep C partition is big. So let's make it halfway. And then I'm going to keep another one, which is that one. And now, once we hit the next button, it's going to load up everything. That shouldn't take more than 10 minutes if you do have same sort of configuration. And SSD make it faster to set up the windows in it. Now let's see at the end if the boot is successful or not.
All right, so finally it shows everything is fine. I restarted a couple of times and it was successfully booted. Now this is the time to update all the drivers. So I need to have internet connection. And then if you go to Windows Update, that would do everything within simple clicks. So thank you so much for watching. Still, if you do have any questions regarding this model about BIOS or any other repair, feel free to visit my shop. If you are from London, if not, then you can post your stuff to repair it, especially from the UK main, mainland. And if you need any help remotely, then you can contact through my Facebook page. Thank you so much for your time. Bye for now.